I don't know what happens. I come here, it's like I, I love it's coming here because they're like this every day. <laughs> and they're okay. different people every day. Yeah, I said you were one of the most beloved actresses and I meant it. We're not, we're not joking around. They, they beloved you. Ellen, do you know, <laughs> do you know, um, People are always mistaking me for you. Really? Like uh, over and over. I'm just, flattered. Yeah, over and over again. Like um, um, in 7-Elevens. <laughs> <laughs> um, Europe. Do they have a paper bag in their hand? <laughs> With no, a bottle? It happens so often. I, it's really fun. And I get a lot of, uh, you and know, what you, are they you get a lot of goodwill. Yeah. Just so you know, it's not coming to you, it's coming to me. I see. I just, <laughs> That's yeah, where it's, it's going. It's Ellen. Uh, <laughs> what do they say? Well, I, sometimes I get some free stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I get to use the bathroom when maybe they, you know, wouldn't oh. let you do that. Wow. Well, yeah. I actually, people have told me that I sort of, I, I seem like you, but never, never mistaken for you, ever. Seem. Yeah. Oh, but I get they, mistaken quite a bit. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm flattered. Okay. I, I, I've been mistaken, mistaken for uh, Edie uh, Falco. Huh? Yeah, she was on the other day, and, and Doris Roberts thought I was her. Oh. Um, it's confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started telling me about that scene when I threw the man out of the house, and I'm oh. like, uh, whatever. You don't just go with it? Uh, I did go with it. Oh. Yes, I did. <laughs> I didn't want to. Um, so, uh, and your hair looks cute. I'm always curious to see what, what, yeah, I think your hair is like, you know, they talk about Jennifer Aniston's hair. Your hair always sets a good... I'm always curious to see what it looks like. It's very cute. There's enough going on there. Yeah. I, I it, like it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I like it a whole lot. You're welcome. You got some good hair going on yourself. Oh, I'm, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> this is a wig, but, um, <laughs> so, hey, I went to, I was lucky enough that I was invited to Oprah's 50th uh, birthday party, oh. and that was pretty cool. Oh. Like, I had never been to such an event. It was I mean, like, I'm used to ponies and balloons. And uh, um, Where was that? Uh, it was at the Bel Air Hotel, a luncheon for a thing, and then oh. her, she had a thing at her house. And, was it fun? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It was really fun. I really felt like I should be serving instead mm. of being, you know, a part of it. But you went to, the reason I bring it up is you went to John Travolta's 50th birthday party, yeah. which I would assume is just as extravagant. It was sensation. I mean, it was shocking, actually. And beautiful, beautiful. His wife did the, the most beautiful thing and really surprised him. I mean, I think he didn't think... What was a surprise? Yeah, I didn't... I, 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 he he kind of walked in and everyone in the lobby in this hotel was someone that he knew. <laughs> but the best was, you know, his face was beautiful, but his wife, Kelly Preston, you know, her, she was just so full of love and... She's a sweet girl. Yeah, really, really sweet. But really? it was an outrageous weekend, yeah. At where, and where was that? In Mexico. Wow, in Cabo. so everybody just happened to be, that, that's a big surprise that you're in Cabo and all your friends are in Cabo. <laughs> and Speedo's just walking around. <laughs> I'm taking it someplace else now. <laughs> so, um, well, that's very cool that everybody was yeah, there. Yeah, it was extraordinary, and there was beautiful music, and... Um, Did they have, like, a singer, or, or just music? A couple, I mean, Natalie Cole sang, and wow. Quincy Jones arranged the whole thing. It was, it was... Fantastic. That's, that's what, what's happening at Oprah's. Anything like that? Uh, yeah, you know, um, Celine Dion sang. She came in and sang "Happy Birthday," and we mm. all tried to sing with her. Uh, no. You can't <laughs> sing "Happy Birthday" with Celine. It's a, Happy Birthday. It was all over the place. Was, we were we were all trying to hold on. It was. Birthday. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> So I, uh, I, I also, you now, I don't know why you mentioned this to somebody that I seem like a, a game person that I play games. Uh, we have game night, which I do. But I know. I heard you had game night. Uh, yeah, I do. Like a running charade kind of night. Yeah. Yeah. We love games, but do yeah. you play? Is that why you say? I, I played a couple times. It's fantastic. Do you all know what that is? I mean, running charades. I, I'm not even great at it, but do you play quite a, a lot? I don't play that much, but I played before. You can yeah. hurt yourself. Yeah, you can. Because really you're hurt. really running to try to beat the next team to get yeah. to the and you, team, people have hurt like a themselves. Like team competition of charades mm -hmm. at your house. But are yeah. you, you are you like a do you play cards? Do you gamble? Um, no. <laughs> no. Do you? Are you yes, a card I, you getting, do. I'm getting into poker. Really? I was just asked to do that po celebrity poker thing. You're gonna do I, it? I don't think I'm that good, but I, I I was asked to do it. I love to play poker. I don't know anything about poker. No. No. I don't. When either. did you learn? You just bluff. You just go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. You just bluff. Do you go to Vegas? Uh, I do go to Vegas sometimes. Did you, do you go to Vegas? Every now and then with my son, he really likes it. I was there yesterday. Your son's like 10, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you taking your son to? Well, he's crazy about it.
about it. He can't get over the lights, and you know, the, there's a big M and M store. He, you know, that yeah. alone. Oh well, yeah, yeah. that's fun. And yeah. there's like a flying machine too. You can yeah. simulate like uh, jumping out of a plane. Right. You can just be suspended in kind Have of midair. No, uh, no, but Jack does. We need to get one of those things here. That would be yeah, fun. Show. Yeah, that would be fun. All right. Um, hey, when we come back, uh, I, I know a lot of people remember that you started out on uh, soap opera, but they don't know that you also did something else that we are going to remind them of when oh, we no. come back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll be right back right after this. And that's a, a clip from Against the Ropes, which is, opens today, right? Today. Yeah. And so uh, your, your, your accent is so good. I'm talking about trying to learn accents. What, is, that's a Midwestern accent you're doing, right? Yeah, Detroit, Cleveland, Chicago up there. Jack, Jack, I, I play this woman called Jackie Callen, who um, was the first woman to ever successfully manage a middleweight boxing champ. And she's from Detroit, but I, it took me a really long time to learn that accent. I made her, uh, I just taped her every lunch we went to. I had her read the script, and then I just put the tape in my car and run around L.A. going, arr, arr, arr. Yeah. Hey. That, that's like a pirate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can put a par parrot on your shoulder and arr. <laughs> so... I think I know who you were playing. Is there only one uh, woman that, that manages boxers? Because I think I, I've seen her. Yeah, she's ex she's a, a absolute. She she just kind of blew my mind all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. when I when I first she's she's a very inspirational person. I mean, it's an, a really hard business to do anything like that. And she had six champions. And um, you know, she's also somebody who really just cracks me up. She has a way of putting things. Like I I asked her to come to a party. That I was having, and um, she said, I said, you know, bring your friend. She said, oh, no, I, I don't think I want to bring my friend. I go, why wouldn't you bring your friend? She goes, why bring a sandwich to a banquet? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out with those. That's, so. that's a good point. Yeah, and she's an outrageous. <laughs> The character really dresses outrageously. I mean, and it was a lot of fun to do. The yeah, boxing no, world know. is outrageous. Do you know anything about boxing? Uh, a little bit. I, I watch. I, I watch it kind of like that. Like I'm yeah. curious about it, but it, it hurts. You know. It's, but I, I, I used to watch more. Yeah. No, not anymore. Um, <laughs> hey, so this is what I was talking about uh, before you go. Uh, you, you need to be reminded of this. Damn. It's really good. It's a, it's a commercial that. Uh, oh. I, I remember it actually. You is remember it Disco this? Burger King? No. Oh. Let's take a look. Oh, can I call your aim? It's aim mint. Mint flavored, huh? Pretty fancy. Does it fight cavities? My dears, this is serious toothpaste. See? <laughs> Clinically proven to reduce cavities. Hurry, girls. Oh, Jane, Jack Reed is waiting for you. Jack Reed. Ra, ra, ra. Oh. Really? She's yeah, saying that Sarah Jessica Parker in there with her. I don't think that's Sarah Maybe Jessica. Maybe I'm wrong. Was she, did you do a commercial with Sarah? I think so. It might not have been that. It might have been Disco Burger King. Well, <laughs> I we'll, can't we'll believe you that found that. Too. Who found that? Yeah, I had that at home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for being here. Thank you for having and, me. And uh, Against the Ropes opens in theaters today. Go see it. Don't go away. We'll be playing the most difficult game on daytime television right after this.